with Duke Camp Knives. We're in the shop today and we're gonna do some grinding. So stay tuned. All right, so this knife has been heat treated. You see that it's drilled. I got the handles, uh, the handle flattened. Um, overall cleaned up. Now we gotta do the bevels. So always start with a fresh belt. Um, I start with generally a 60 grit, but I don't have a fresh 60. So I'm gonna start with an 80 today and see if that works for us. Um, it may be a little bit of hogging because you know, it's a thick knife. So let's get started. Okay, when I start this back up, you'll see that I'm doing, I'm positioning the blade like this. You see this gap down here? Cause I'm getting on that flat that I've created right there. And I'm just gradually walking it up. I go from this to this to this, and I look at it all the time, boom, to make sure I'm not going past that scribe line. You can see that I went back and tried to blend some of this just with light pressure. I mean, when you're cutting and you're trying to set that bevel, and I already hammered in the bevels for the most part, so I'm just cleaning them up. But <clears throat> you just want to, and you see that I'm tipping out like this for the when you get to the tip. Whenever you start up for your tip right here, starts about right there. You do your straight on, on the edge this way. When you get to that tip, just start tipping it out so that you can run that up and keep it consistent. Now I need to raise this up just a little bit, but probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip to this side and I'm gonna get this one started. I'm at my line now where I need to be. I still see a little bit in the tip up here on the edge, it's a little thick, so I'll go back and clean that up. But let's get this side caught up. Okay, so I was gonna get this to match this side, right? So, but I ended up, because I was doing it, and already on this side, I took it up. I see one little spot right here that I'm gonna have to clean up. It's got like a, a second little bevel in it, I don't, whatever you wanna call it, it's just a wobble. But I mean, the, the main goal of grinding bevels is once you get on there and you find that bevel, and I'm using very light pressure until I find that first bevel and when I find it, I stay on that. And then I put a little more pressure once I'm on it. But when I'm finding it, it's very light pressure. You might see some sparks, but you're not really cutting. So just kind of lay it on there. You'll see some sparks and then feel where the bevel is and then push. Also, I don't use gloves when I grind because this is a heat treated and tempered knife. So my goal is to feel the heat in the blade. My fingers will get hot and burn before I lose my temper here. So always, you know, just don't use gloves anymore and just keep going.
Okay. You know, there's a hammer mark right here that I didn't want to go too deep and get out. But that was an 80 grit belt. Now I'm looking at this now and I think I might have to take this side up just a little bit. That side's higher than this side, so I'll scooch it up just a little bit. So let's do that. pretty pleased with that the bevels are pretty solid here now it would go up to 120 here and then 150 maybe 220 and then maybe do a little bit of hand sanding here um, and then go to fit up um, this one I don't want a mirror finish on this one I just want it this is gonna be a working knife so all right let's switch belts <laughs> Also, <coughs> when you go to finer grits on your belt sander, the blade is actually making more contact with the belt that's moving. It generates more heat. So we're not really trying to grind and hog off material. You're just refining what you've already ground and trying to get those, the deeper scratch marks out from that, say that 80 belt. Um, I never use a 36 anymore unless it's before the heat treat and I take it up to at least 80 or 120 before I heat treat it. After the heat treat and temper, I always come back and start over at like 60, 80, 120, 150, like this is 150. So, all right. Okay, looks good.
Thanks for watching.